Hey guys, so I've been staying in at home and I hope you guys are doing the same thing and keeping yourself safe. Being quarantined at home means that you have to do the household tasks of helping in at home, cleaning the house, dusting the house, and more often than not, it's not the best thing that you'd want to do. Our houses, our offices, and even our cars are very dirty and dusty, and picking up a towel to clean those places is not the best solution. So to aid in this task, I picked up the 70 my vacuum cleaner which I stumbled upon on AliExpress and I've been using it for quite a long time now. 70 my a Xiaomi sub brand which primarily dabbles in car accessories hasn't officially launched this handheld vacuum cleaner in India but it can still be purchased from AliExpress. Inside the box we get two head attachments a brush head and a tall flat head for accessing remote places. A USB A to type C cable for charging the device and a nice cloth carry bag for placing all of these things. You also get a user manual. The vacuum cleaner itself is built really well and feels like a premium product. It's made of polycarbonate and has a matte finish. It isn't the lightest at 700 grams, but the weight distribution is pretty neat. We have a curved handle at the top to maneuver the cleaner around. Using this product is super easy as there's just one button to power the vacuum cleaner on or off and just one operating speed, further easing its use. The cleaner can stand on a tabletop thanks to the bottle-like dust cap which prevents the debris from falling out. What's also neat is a 3 LED battery indicator and the added convenience of charging this handheld device with a USB-C port which now most devices are adopting. We have an 80 watt motor spooling at 32,000 RPM producing a modest suction pressure of 5000 pascal. The noise produced by this vacuum cleaner is rated at 65 decibels, which in comparison to the 80 decibel produced by a household mixer and grinder is much lower. So I thought I would order this vacuum cleaner to clean places like windowsills, sofas, carpets and even my laptop keyboard which occasionally has lots of dust and plenty of crumbs. If you haven't heard already, Few iterations of the MacBook Pro with touch bar which launched in 2016 have been in the news for lawsuits and product recalls due to frozen and unresponsive keys which resulted from dust ingress on the butterfly mechanism that Apple implemented and is now paying a heavy price for. This vacuum cleaner is pretty good at cleaning household dust and small debris and has done a great job at cleaning my sofa and windowsills. Uncountered minor hiccups only when the particle size was fairly large. It also did a tidy job in vacuuming my keyboard, on which I deliberately tossed some biscuit crumbs to test this product. The 70 my vacuum cleaner is ideally designed for convenient cleaning of car interiors and it does a good job with the seats and door pockets. Also subjected it to a very dirty floor carpet, but it started struggling with the big debris it encountered. So now we must come to an important aspect of using this vacuum cleaner which is the HEPA HEPA filter cartridge that lies inside the vacuum cleaner body. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air Filter. It is the filter element responsible for vacuuming out allergens of sizes less than 1 micron. Bacteria is about 0.3 microns, pollen grains range from 10 to 1000 microns and dust can be between 1 to 100 microns in size. When the HEPA filter is clogged, the suction power drops considerably. We have so much dust and debris around us that even a mere 10 minute job around the house and in the car could potentially fill this vacuum cleaner up completely. I personally would have liked a larger filtration capacity than the rated 100ml as in my experience of over 2 weeks, I have accumulated dust to nearly the brim after a 15-20 to 20 minute regime. So we need to dust it and regularly empty the HEPA filter to maintain the efficiency of the vacuum cleaner. The HEPA filter has a reusable plastic outer mesh which keeps larger particles outside and has a paper filter inside for those fine allergens. 70 my recommends replacing this filter assembly every 3 months but the ease of availability of these refills in India is worrying since this product is yet to be officially released. After continuous usage, the cleaner does heat up but it was in no way uncomfortable to use as the polycarbonate body dissipates heat efficiently. The battery life was good and lasted about 30 to 35 minutes of mixed cleaning. It took about 3 hours for a full charge using a 5V 3A wall plug, but this device also supports Quick Charge 3.0. It can also be charged in the car with a USB Type C cable.
So I expect Xiaomi to launch this product at near the rupees 3000 price mark whenever Xiaomi does plan on launching it. And the question arises is this product worth it considering you can get a full size vacuum cleaner at nearly the same price? The full size vacuum cleaners, they're not that convenient to use because they have a long cord that you need to carry around and you need to regularly dust the dust bag or the filters and they make a lot of noise and they also considerably increase your electricity bill. This 70 mAh vacuum cleaner is really power efficient, has an 80 watt motor. It is really convenient to charge, clean and even carry around. Considering the convenience and form factor, it is really worth it for the price. So I believe the 70 mAh vacuum cleaner is stylish and convenient for use. But I would also like to add that it is no replacement for a full size household vacuum cleaner, nor is it the perfect solution to clean your car. So I hope you like this video and there are a lot of interesting videos coming up really soon. So in case you haven't subscribed and like this video, go ahead and press that like button.